I'm Fermi the bear. And I'm Polar the bear. We're made of sugar all up in this. And we gotta watch that we don't come into contact with oxidizers. Fermi, where'd you go? I'm just a thrill seeker and I'm doing some parkour at the top of this test tube with molten potassium chloride. Whoa, whoa! That was more like sub parkour if you ask me. <laughs> Hey folks, thanks as always for watching Science with Mike. Today we're going to watch the reaction between potassium chlorate and different kinds of candy which have sugar. But first, let's talk about why something is an oxidizer in the first place. It has to do with its oxidation number. And like, oh, oh, where are you going? Look, 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 just listen for one minute. We'll get to the fire after that, okay? The oxidation number of these uh, oxidizers that we've seen on Science with Mike they're basically, the bigger the number is, the more it wants to be closer to zero. So manganese and potassium permanganate, which is what, what our first ever episode was, positive seven. Nitrate, like when we made candy rocket fuel, positive five. And today, chl uh, chlorate, like potassium chlorate, that chlorine is positive five, and it really wants to be closer to zero. And it's not happy with these oxygens on it, and therefore, it's going to put oxygens on stuff, like sugar. Also, everything has to be um, labeled with an NFPA label. And you'll notice if something's an oxidizer, there's a diamond at the bottom for special warnings, and it says OX, and that means oxidizer. And you'll see this on a barrel, on a bottle, or a truck. Uh, that's what makes an oxidizer. That's what we have to label, at, at its least. So what I've got here is a bunch of test tubes filled with potassium chlorate. We're going to melt it, um, and then we're going to take these various candies. And I've actually looked at the label on the candy and uh, have determined what percent sugar they are. So we've got two kinds of gummy bears. Uh, the ones you just saw have 63% sugar. M&Ms, 65% sugar. This is all based on the label on the back. Smarties. 80% sugar, and then these things, which I remember from my childhood, 96% sugar. Let's start with the gummy bears. Let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. These just are your run-of-the-mill gummy bears. And then we got organic gummy bears. Um, I think how that works, organic gummy bears, when they grow them, they don't have any pesticides that they use on the gummy bear plant. Okay, let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. This one is only less than 50% sugar. This one's 63% sugar. And we'll drop them in the test tube at the same exact time. All right, more fire. Uh, potassium chlorate, one of the reasons we do this with potassium chlorate and not another uh, oxidizer is it melts pretty low, 360 degrees Celsius. It's very hot, but not hot enough to, that we can't melt it. And that's what makes it react real fast with the candy. Okay, once again, we're in the fume hood because I'm going to drop these in. On the right, organic gummy bear, less than 50% sugar. On the left, the regular old unhealthy gummy bear that isn't as healthy for you as the organic. And then I'm going to get the heck out of here. What you saw there with that purple, the violet, that was the flame color of uh, potassium when it gets excited to a very high temperature. And next we're going to do M&Ms, but I can't touch this for at least a few minutes. Super hot. And, and here's the thing. I, I, I like M&Ms. All right, I got these out of the machine, but some of them are rejects, like these two right there. They're not even Ms. They're Ws and so they need to go. They're rejects. And what better way to eliminate them than with molten potassium chlorate? <laughs> it's actually gonna be really interesting 
because um, M&Ms aren't homogeneous, you know? They, they're like got a candy shell that should have more sugar, I think, but here goes. <laughs> Dang. Oh my God. All right, that was 65% sugar, and next are Smarties, and then Necco wafers. And Smarties are 85% sugar. I mean, I remember when I ate Smarties when I was a kid. They were so sweet, my left arm went numb. So I can't, I'm afraid of what happens next. But, but we push it a little bit on Science with Mike, and we're in a fume hood, and we have safety glasses, and we're hiding behind things as it goes on. Here goes. I think we're going to do three of these. No four, because <laughs> we're not. All right, and uh, apparently I have melted the clamp to the test tube, and I can't get it off. <laughs> All right, that's just gonna have to happen later. Smarties, four of them, and I gotta say I'm frightened, because they're 80% sugar. <laughs> Yeah! Three Necco wafers, 96% sugar. <laughs> I ain't even watching. I'll just wait for the video. Oh boy. Um, we're not going to find out. <laughs> oh boy, that was the, I, I'm done now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you want to sign off for us, Wilford? Thanks for watching Science with Mike. Don't eat too much candy, kids. That won't give you a better life. <laughs>